Yes, guys. A view from Gunner Signal Station, which is in St. George. Looking into the St. George Valley, and I'm on the top floor. And this is a list of signal stations here in Barbados. Parish of St. Thomas, which is a neighboring parish, another central parish, just like St. George. There's no seen or course in it, where we can see the Appleberry Farmer Appleberry Plantation and Sugar Factory, which later became the West Indies Records Limited. And there's no Barbara industry, and we can see all the artists that came here, and all the Parish of Hall, and Thomas, and all the Sturges, and all the CBC as well. And we can see the Cuthbert Moore Primary School at Market Hill in St. George. And as we stay here, Gunner Hill Signal Station, opened by the Right Honourable John Michael Jeffrey Manningham Adams, Queen's Council Member of Parliament on November 24th, 1982, and it was restored by the Barbados National Trust. For those of you who don't know who John Michael Jeffrey Manningham Adams is, his real name is Tom Adams. Uh, his call name is Tom Adams. Tom Adams, he was Barbados' second Prime Minister. From 1976 to 1985, he succeeded Arab Arrow, who was Barbados' first Prime Minister and father of independence and also a national hero. Tom Adams succeeded him. And Tom Adams' father, Granny Adams, is also a national hero as well. This is the restoration of Gun Hill Signal Station in 1982. And a view of the St. George Valley once more. Looking straight at Buckley. Buckley is spelled B U L K E L E Y. Buckley Sugar Factory closed down in 2002. Buckley is situated in St. George. But I take this transloading station where you can load the canes or whatever. At Buckley, it's still open. My grandmother, my father's mother, used to work at Buckley Sugar Factory back in the day at the plantation. And by the way, my father is also from this parish, the parish of St. George. My father and my uncle and aunt, one aunt he has, his one sister he has, so one aunt I have from him is also from this parish. And we can see the south of the island in Christchurch. We are looking over across the Boarded Hall Green. So we a closer view of Buckley Sugar Factory and Boarded Hall Green, which is just beyond Buckley, behind Buckley. The Boarded Hall area is in St. George, between St. George and Christchurch. A greater part of it is in St. George, but that part of St. George is leading you to Christchurch. Closer to Fair Pilgrim, where we can see in the background behind Boarded Hall, Fair Pilgrim, Yorkshire. Edie Village and St. Patrick's and the Coral Ridge area. The Boarded Hall Green is a new housing development in Boarded Hall. That brings light to Boarded Hall because Boarded Hall is a very lonely road. That is the road that you will use to get into St. Philip, which is to the east of the island. So the bus that passes through Boarded Hall will be the Bearfield bus, which is number 10, Route 10 bus, or the Yorkshire bus, which is number 19, and then Kendall bus, which is number 19K or 19E. You see all, over the, all across the airport, the Granny Adams International Airport, which is Barbados' only port of entry by air. The Granny Adams International Airport was renamed as such in 1976 after the Prime Minister of the West Indies, Premier of Barbados, and National Hero of Barbados as well as so Granny Herbert Adams. And we can see across the St. George Parish Church, which is the second oldest place of worship in Barbados after St. James. St. George was built in 1641 and we built in 1784. St. George is just beneath Gun Hill. 
And again, Gun Hill saying the steel shield is 700 feet above sea level. And St. George, about St. George, the parish of St. George, it was carved out of the parish of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael is in Mother Parish, and St. George was carved out of it. This is the map of Barbados dating back 1728. Fortifications of the Barbados coastline. List of forts, all 23 forts, from Kendall's Point Fort to Half to Mayor Cox Fort. And the genesis, the genesis of the lookouts, the genesis of signal stations and lookouts within the context of the Atlantic world. And lookouts and vantage points in Barbados, a defensive necessity. And from Brace Hill to Gun Hill. Window that, that puts you back to the view, that leads you to the lovely view on the island. Lovely lush St. George Valley here in Barbados. Another view of the St. George Valley and a history of the Victoria Cross, which dates back to 1856. And the military history of Barbados. The artillery unit. Barbados Volunteers circa 1904. And the 1st Battalion West India Regiment on parade at the garrison circa 1898. The garrison historic area. The garrison was described as a historic as a United UNESCO World Heritage Site in June of 2011. The British troops encamped at Moncrief circa 1900. And officers of the 21st foot, later the Scott Fusiliers in camp at Gun Hill in 1862. History of the Royal Scott Fusiliers, 21st. The land just beneath here, the famous land sculpture at Gun Hill, which was carved by Captain Henry Wilkinson in 1868, who was an officer at the signal station. Prince Edward plants a six year Malasset tree known as the Pomera or Pomera at Gun Hill Signal Station on March 1st, 19th, Sunday, March 1st, 1987.
and look back at the signal station. Again, we're looking back into the Warrens area, which is in the center of the island, but it is situated in a westerly direction. Warrens was the, the Warrens area was mainly used for agriculture. It was a, was a, a country area of Kian Ground. You now, sometime between the late 80s or early 90s, it's when they start removing the Kian Ground, um, planting businesses there. Lots of businesses started moving out of town into the Warrens area. So we are looking straight into the Warrens area now. Where these big buildings are and, up, and across from the warmers area will be the Lairs Jackman's area and Canewood, Cane Garden Road area where you can see the Chaffet warehouse known as Frosty's ice cream parlor which is situated at Cane Garden I mean Lairs Chaffet is a fast food restaurant similar to Kentucky but it is, it is, it is, it is exclusive to Barbados so you will not find it in any other country other than Barbados. Even though it is owned by a Trinidadian national by the name of Asad John Hallow, Chaffet is exclusive to Barbados. And we can see all the Grandview Heights and Shop Hill St. Thomas and Bridgefield area as well. And all at the Jack in the Box Gully and Harrison Cave area and Ashford, which is in St. Thomas. You can see the Tate Hill area, Tate Hill and Walkers. So this is the bottom terrace. So look at this view guys, you can see almost any part of the island from here. So now thank you guys for watching and have a blessed evening.